Should you file your ERISA disability claim as early as possible? Now, your doctor may have told you that it's time to stop work and apply for your disability benefits, or you're beginning to have trouble and you are questioning how long you're going to be able to continue to work before you have to stop work and apply for your benefits. In my view, timing is everything. I'm often asked, when should I file my disability claim? Should I do it now? Should I do it later? Now, some lawyers will tell you that you should file your initial claim as soon as you can, but I don't necessarily agree with that blanket advice. Each situation is unique, but there are a number of things that I think are crucial that you should do before you stop work and apply for your benefits. Now, before I discuss this, I want to talk about the difference between filing a claim and putting a disability carrier on notice of a claim. I think that putting a disability carrier on notice of a claim can be crucial because many disability policies or plans require that you put them on notice timely of a claim. And if you don't, they can use that as a reason to deny your claim. You're just saying to the carrier, I have a potential claim. I'm not necessarily ready to file that claim. Now, depending on the circumstances, I prefer to develop the claim so that it is strong and supported by medical evidence, financial information, vocational information before I run out and tell the disability carrier that we might be filing a claim on your behalf. The only exception to that advice is going to be where there's a potential situation where you are going to be laid off, discharged, rift. You're no longer going to be a part of this uh, employer. That's important because if you lose your employment, you lose your coverage. And if you have been working and even though you're disabled and not having an applicable loss of income and then you stop work because you got terminated, the carrier is going to say, hey, you're not disabled. You're just filing a claim because you got terminated. So you got to be careful. In other situations, I really would prefer to make sure that the claim is well developed and supported and we have an appropriate date of disability before notice and a claim is filed. That's my advice. If you have any questions about your rights to ERISA disability benefits, call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. If your claim's been denied or terminated, don't delay. That's one time you don't want to delay because you'll only have 180 days in which to file an appeal. That appeal is a trial of your case. So don't delay, 727-894-3188.